so in this video now we will going to learn how to select values in python from sql tables values so now as we know that first step that first we need to do that connection and i'm using that adventure work 2019 db now my connection is done okay so now if i go and try to execute this one first this table so you can see that in this table i'm going to use that for select purpose so you can see that how many total rows are there you can see at that corner or else you can go and see in that message tab as well so now here we know now we'll start that few things we will start first thing we'll start that where title is not null condition because we have title some of them with null some of them with that value so first thing we can see how to select this one right now i'm selecting top five only so those things we'll try to see there second question we'll try where title equals to mystery and now we can see that what all values are coming third thing is that now we'll try to see how we can concatenate that title first name middle name last name and display as that name for this so i'm just all this sql query i'm running just to show you whenever i will run from python we need to get that same result so i'm just trying to execute this then we'll try to see that distinct title how many are there their count and then this one we need to do group by that title to get this thing correctly and all those things sql statement i am i am uh, creating one of my playlists that get, um, going on right now currently sql server there you can go and try to understand those things okay sorry it's my bad now i can execute so we can see that it's displaying it here so you can see that null values are zero for title column null if we see we are saying that zero rows but actually you can see there are multiple rows so for this one region behind that a count of null it's not going to do it so we need to put that one and then we need to execute then we will get that uh 18963 so to just to cross verify that we are getting all rows or not okay i am opening this calculator and we can try to add it all of them so 11 plus 2 plus 1 8 Nine six three plus three plus four one five one plus five seven seven. Okay, so we got at one nine nine seven two. So if you go and see that total row count is one nine nine seven two. Okay. So now when we'll do that count of one, we are getting exactly that same number of rows. Okay. But if we go with that count of star or uh, field name title, then what is happening in that title, there are some rows with that null values. So it's not counting those null. So those things I already going to explain that in uh, how to use that count function, what are their limitations and all those other things in SQL. So now this uh we'll try to see that how we can see these outputs so now if i will go back and move to our select statement so first thing we can declare one variable called sql and then we can use double quotation triple times okay and we can just try to simply copy this code and paste it there okay and then what i can do once i can paste it i can put that cursor dot execute and this sql statement we can go ahead and execute this one. So what i'm doing why i started using that triple quotation because in between somewhere where we can pass that title so if i can go it here yeah in this one 
I will explain why we need to use triple code. So first one is this. And now if I go ahead and see that output here, and if I can execute this, and then we can try to see now this list, whatever we got it. So if I execute this, we'll get that now first five EM false. So now if I go it here, we can see that five em false six em false mr misses all those things so it's coming correctly so if i go ahead here 6 24 and... oh, sorry Wait a minute. yeah so like this 139 24 business entity id so all those things are coming it here so now we got to know how to see this one now i will explain you why we need this one so for this what i can do i can just copy this now then go ahead and i will copy this as well and now we need to change our select statement so we need this select statement So in this one, so suppose if I go with single quotation, okay. If I go with single quotation, what it's going to do? If I try to now execute, we can see what it's going to be happening. So now it's going to work it here. Okay. There is no issue. Everything is work correctly. But whenever we wanted to use single and double quotation, so here I am using this one for single quotation to pass that value. And here I am using triple single to do like this. But it's always better if we can make single and double so that we can easily find it out. That's why I started using for double quotation, but you can use anything. Okay. So now we can see this output as well. We getting 6139. 273, 284, and 285. So if you can see 284 and 285 and 273, 273. So those five rows are getting. So now if you go to our next query, now we wanted to use this one. So what I can similar way, just we need to do copy of this one. You can create one function. Or you can keep declaring that SQL value and you can execute this one, passing it, creating this one as one function. And then you can put that every time changing that SQL variable. So now if I can go ahead and try to see this one. Okay. So now if I go and these things need to be replaced. Okay. So now if I can execute this, we are getting that here what I am trying to do that I am doing that title, first name, middle name, last name as name. So this one, I'm getting it here, first one. And then all those other values, I'm getting it out, okay? So there are nothing to do it here. And this also, if I can go ahead and run it. So before that, I will go. So there are not much difference, whatever SQL query you have, if you can go ahead and try to execute directly, it will work fine okay that's all i'm doing right now also i just replacing that sql statement and running it out so here i'm getting that count so you can see that is everything is coming here it's coming zero and if i can put one then the execute then we can see that it's coming one eight nine six three okay so now if you can see here two are there then it's still okay we can understand but if I try to run this one, we are not able to see that things properly, right? So now what we can do, we can just simply import pandas, okay? First thing, we'll try to import pandas as pd, okay? 
So when panda is imported, what we can do, we can convert it to data frame. So for this one, we have that one thing that called read underscore SQL underscore query. Okay. So if we try to use this function that present in our pandas library, so first what we need to do that, we need to pass this. So suppose if I'm going to use this one, okay. So what I can do, I can put it here. Okay, and then I will use this variable. First variable need to be SQL. So either you can pass that variable or directly that query. And then second one, whatever connection we created. So this one is that connection. So we can pass it here. Okay. And after this, we can put that print of df. Okay. So we are going to convert that to our data frame. So here uh, already now we converted into our data frame. And then we can save this data frame. We already know how to do that. And then we can go it from there and use like however we wanted. We can manipulate on df. We can try to delete and resave it and do that whatever value we wanted to do it. Okay. So that's all for this video. Thank you.